battered Fox News host Laura Ingraham will be returning to the airwaves on Monday in what has to be a gut-wrenching defeat for those who launched an all-out blitzkrieg to crush her and destroy her career over a tweet that hurt poor high school bully David Hogg's feelings. Ingraham quickly found herself at the center of a firestorm after the sneering attack Dog Hogg and his pals at the George Soros David Brock hate machine media matters were able to successfully terrorize a list of corporations to pull their advertising spots from the Ingraham angle on Fox. It was one of the most vicious examples yet of how social media has been weaponized against conservatives and had the cyberbullies been able to take down Ingraham, it was clear that the entire Fox network would have been next on their list. They bent but they didn't break and neither did Ingraham, a strong, white heterosexual Christian woman who exemplifies just about everything that is despised by the anti-American left. The hate-mongering liberal lynch mob that was behind this intimidation campaign directed at spineless corporate quislings who are as soft as soggy toilet paper successfully got 19 of them to yank their ads but in the end, not getting Ingraham off the air permanently has to be a stinging rebuke for them. The Washington Times reports Fox News' Laura Ingraham set to return after losing 19 advertisers in David Hogg feud. Fox News Channel host Laura Ingraham is expected back at work on Monday following a backlash by advertisers upset over her tweet mocking a Parkland, Florida school shooting survivor. Her one-week vacation served as a cooling-off period. The number of companies saying they would not advertise on her show at 19, according to account by Media Matters for America, slowed to a trickle while she was away. Ingraham also picked up a strong statement of support from her boss and backing from an unexpected source in liberal talk show host Bill Maher late on Friday. Ingraham has apologized for a tweet in which she said 17-year-old high school student David Hogg whined about being rejected by some colleges. Hogg has said it's time to love thy neighbor, not mudsling at children. Their spat became a symbol of a debate over how minors active and national gun safety talks should be treated by political opponents. Another student, Emma Gonzalez, was falsely depicted in a doctored photo tearing up the Constitution. Hogg has urged companies to reconsider their relationships with Ingraham, a veteran pundit whose Fox show has aired only for a few months. And, earlier this week, Fox News co-president Jack Abernethy said that we cannot and will not allow voices to be censored by agenda-driven intimidation efforts and promised Ingraham will be back. Ingraham has not addressed the controversy on her show, which airs at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. The kicker for the demonic little fascist hog and his backers had to be when their usually staunch ally, Bill Maher came out on Friday's HBO show and denounced the tactics that were being used against Ingraham as hypocritical bullying and went so far as to suggest that they were just plain un-American. Chalk one up for the good guys and keep a list of the corporations that caved, I have and I will never again spend as much as one penny with any of them. Like and share this video on Facebook and Twitter if you agree. Don't forget to support this channel by clicking on the donation link down below and subscribing so you never miss any of our trending reports. What do you think about this report? Scroll down to comment below. Now if you are seeking the latest trends in fashion, and electronics and gifts and more at the best prices, please feel free to visit www.atthismall.com once again that is www.atthismall.com